Hi everybody, I'm Solid Star 86, the director of Haruhi, and today we are doing a Haruhi commentary for episode one, The Melancholy of Haruhi Suzumiya, part one. I am joined today by the editor, uh, Codemaster. Yo. I am joined by our Yuki and our Ryoko. She's Ryoko in this episode, Yuki in every other episode. It's Nikoro Chan 18. Hello. I'm joined with our uh, Mikuru here. It is singing Samane. And uh, a background character and a member of the computer club. He doesn't actually show up until episode two. It's uh, Haru Soul One. Hi. So the way that this is going to work is when you guys watch the episode, I'm going to tell you when to start the episode, and then you can go ahead and play this along with the episode. And uh, we're going to talk about some stuff we liked about it, stuff we didn't like, things we had fun with, and so on and so forth. So get ready to start the episode in three, two, one, and press play. Yes, yes, you are. Okay. <laughs> I'm not going to say anything about that. No. <laughs> That's Just actually a background on. voice. Yeah, it's a background voice later. Yep. Shh. You still have to shh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, so we're one, oh no, we were actually supposed to be talking about it, not listening into it and yeah. enjoying it. <laughs> you just tell us to shh. <laughs> <laughs> Quiet. Okay, anyways. <laughs> Um, this is our... Commentary for Haruhi, where we all shh. <laughs> <laughs> actually, talking about the editing, this... I guess because this was the first thing I actually edited, it, ca- it was kind of, like, so fresh in my mind. Um, this was when, um, Samina went ahead and gave me the sound effects for the scene already. Um, I was just putting it in. And I was also putting in Keon's lines, even though I was supposed to put the sound effects first in the lines. That's my method of working. But um, I, I, got, I guess I got too excited and did that. But um, when I was watching it, and I was watching the preview and everything, it felt so like a real dub that I was like, this is amazing. Holy crap, I can't wait for to finish this episode. But then I regretted it because the episode's annoying to make. <laughs> Suwaba's so good in this episode. Yeah, so really is Suwaba yeah, is, true. is, yeah... The person who played Keon, if you, uh, you guys didn't know already. Yeah, Suwaba, he, uh, we had a lot of people audition for uh, Haruhi, and there were so many good ones that I couldn't do it by myself. <clears throat> so I actually had to put together a team of people to do it with me, and he won out. Mm-hmm. Little um, notes back there, they actually recorded their lines in the background, and then we, uh, I think we overdubbed those. For what? For the, the when he's talking, and he's giving his introduction, and Tanaguchi talks. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This mm-hmm. is Stell, by the way. This is our Haruhi. Uh, she recorded this line no less than 102 times. <laughs> well, it is a hard line to do. Yeah. Well, not only that, but Stell's like the biggest perfectionist. Yeah. She was uh, excited for it, so she wanted Haruhi to be perfect. Hey, yeah. guys. Um, I would like to apologize really quick, but um, could someone just start counting the seconds and where we're we at? Because my video lagged. Or we're still running the commentary. Just quickly say the seconds for 26, me. 27, 28, 29. Wait, what minute? 2. Uh, 30, 35. Okay, thank you. Yeah. I always wonder why they show the bathrooms in this scene. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. Oh, so this is Stell singing our opening theme. <clears throat> She's uh-huh. singing with uh, Christina V's lyrics. Uh, this she was her idea, voice. actually. Um, my original idea wasn't I wasn't going to have anyone dub the opening because nobody <laughs> you don't do see a lot of fan dubs with very good singing. So my plan was to uh, not dub it, but she was adamant she wanted me to dub that. So, well, when she did her audition, the reason I mostly wanted her to be Harvey was because she could sing. Oh yeah, so it she was, was perfect. great. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the, the interesting thing about the actual English dub is that Bandai didn't, um, they dubbed uh, the song in episode 14, but they didn't dub the opening or the ending. Yeah, that was weird. So it's really uh, interesting uh, Interesting to hear it actually as part of the video. I was actually the most excited when I first heard about doing this was uh, just getting to see her song put to the opening because that, that to me was uh, where I knew it was real and we were actually going to finish it and do it. <laughs> uh, this was actually the first thing completed for this uh, whole series was her song being stuck to this and the stars aligned yes <laughs> it was so good 
Oh it man, wonderful. it was good. Just a little nitpick, but I've always wanted to see the episode where Hara he plays a piano. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like how this scene film pretty much is saying that Haruhi is a... <laughs> she's not an ordinary high school girl. Yeah, she's <laughs> kind of a weirdo. Just that smile. <laughs> <laughs> what about that saying? She's really... so angry. It's so funny. It's well, great. It's, it's funny because Stell... Um, she actually told me this several times. It's very hard for her because she's such a nice person. It's very hard for her to be mean. And it came out a lot because she recorded this line several times and she was just way too too Happy. nice or she didn't sound realistic enough. So we had to go through several exercises. And finally, the way I got her to record it correctly was I told her just to imagine like being kicked in the shin over and over again. Oh. No one said they were sorry. Ow. <laughs> also, here's our Taniguchi. He's this so Roy, awesome. Roy Haven Stone, our Taniguchi. He's uh, from the United Kingdom, actually, and he hides his accent amazingly. I love yeah, his... it's yeah, he's really good. Yeah. And I hate my Kunikita, by the way. Yeah, Codemaster is our Kunikita here. Yo. Especially what happened in episode two. I I, I can never f- forgive myself for letting that happen. <laughs> hey, at least you have a bigger role than computer room guy number three. Kunikita doesn't get any more lines after this. It's true. I love um, how... Roy Havenstone did the eating effect when he was doing his line. I don't oh know why. God, yes. He oh, did yeah. it so well and it fit uh-huh. perfectly. I love how angry uh, Suwaba sounds in the scene. <laughs> what the <laughs> hell is she doing? What is she doing? <laughs> Just yeah. a little fun fact, when Haruhi throws the ball at the ceiling, it took so long to find that. <laughs> that sound effect? <laughs> yeah. There's it's so bowl? simple too. I always wonder what she was thinking about in this scene. I always wonder why there's a pool. I know, a pool. Yeah. yeah. She's probably getting ready to yeah, find drown it or something. Mm. Oh, here it is. I remember uh, this, this was the very first uh, moment I got to see any of the episode put together. <laughs> <laughs> Use that as our teacher. Yeah, it was. Oh, yeah. That's what I heard, really. I really had no problem slip syncing Tanaguchi's voice because everything just fits so perfectly. Like every other yeah. character, I've always had to fix, like either slow them down a bit or speed them up. But Tanaguchi was always so. It always was great with it. This is our first appearance in Nakoto Chan's uh, Ryoko. Yay! I don't actually talk until like halfway through the episode. Oh, no. Yeah, I I, that was. <laughs> that was my fault. I actually should have written something for her to say, but I was. I was focusing on the music and other things going on, and I didn't. Mm-hmm. We do try to fix that later on, though. Uh, you'll notice, uh, starting with episode four, that people actually do talk in the background and say other things. Uh, so, please forgive us for that. This was our first episode here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, things considered, first episode came out really well. Yeah. yeah. That red-haired chick all the way on the left appears everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> she, she does. Yeah, she's going to show up. Oh, I love this scene. Oh, yeah, I have a small line. Friday. Sinking up, oh, that, right sinking up the hair, like the beeps with the hair. I was actually like following it frame by frame on Vegas, just like zoomed in mm-hmm. perfectly and placing it at each point. It's pretty challenging, oh, but God. I love it. get naked. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite line. The weird thing about that line was I told the uh, the extras to say it, and they thought it was crazy. And they're like, I'm not going to say that. That's awful. I'm like, that's what they say in the actual dub. And they don't say it in the Japanese one. That's hey, not look, it's the so point. I'm so excited. <laughs> it, I, editing that scene, I, when I saw everyone fall, I was like syncing all the sounds in the claps, and I just saw that one guy in the back collapse down. And I'm like, I need to do something with him. And then you could just look in our videos for that. <laughs> This is a small video. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, this Ode to the Fallen background character. <laughs> yeah. Also, this, this that girl that was talking to Haruhi, uh, we got Samini to record that like last minute because um, when I had rendered I was it... really mad that she was silent, so I had to have her say stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so that's something like us going against the director. Because that's always a good thing to do. 
I think my favorite parts of this this show are just watching uh, Kion and uh, how how Suwaba's Kion interacts with other people because it seems it's so realistic. I mean, you know that scene. You know, you know that they're just sitting at a desk and he's like, "Yo," and he's all like, "Oh, hey, bro, what's going on?" <laughs> How's it hanging? Good to see you again. But you know he's talking to himself while he's recording, so it's like, wow. Yeah, but it's still so lifelike. Yeah. It's true. That is a sign of a very talented voice actor. I think, like, all of the people we've casted were able to do that. Like, mainly Haruhi and Kyon, um, Sel and Sawaba. First, even though they're not in the same room and they don't hear each other, they're, they, you can see some kind of chemistry. I don't know, but, like, all their lines always seem to work well together, and it actually sounds like they're talking to each other. Yeah, I, yeah. I should I should point out to anyone watching <clears throat> that we don't use any trickery in Haruhi. There isn't, like... Stell records her lines and then Suwaba hears it or vice versa. They all record their lines separately and then send them in. So, mm-hmm. you know, it's not like, you know, they're able to hear them. Every one of these actors, except for, I'm going to say, uh, Mikuru, obviously because she's SFX uh, supervisor and all that, <clears throat> are all recorded separately and then put together in the final product. So it is amazing how they're able to interact with one another. And they sound like they really are just sitting in the same room glaring at each other. Also, I love Kion's face here. <laughs> <laughs> I've noticed that this episode, the guy's sleeping there. <laughs> this episode in particular has so many background things that they animated just to put in there, like make a very high quality show that there's something always going on. <laughs> it's like not only the guy that was fall- that fell on his face, but also that guy sleeping on his desk. I wanted to try to do something, but I couldn't think of anything. In this part in the in the script right here, this part actually ends with the uh, end of part one. Our original plan was we were going to separate Haruhi into two parts, right here. But then we were like, no, because why if we can upload an almost 30-minute video? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Plus, I think we were it around long enough. I'm sorry? Oh, I, was, I was just going to say we were around long enough to get the extended video, so might as well use it. Yeah. Uh, another interesting uh, editing thing here. This is actually the uh, Blu-ray rip of Haruhi, so this isn't... Uh, <clears throat> In the U.S., we got the uh, standard definition DVD release. Uh, I know most people don't care about this, but uh, I happen to actually own the, the Blu-ray release of Haruhi, and the picture quality is amazing. Mm-hmm. So when we were talking about Haruhi, I, I, the things we were thinking about, because obviously we are redubbing an anime that's already been dubbed, was we need to give people something that they've never seen before. So on top of having opening and ending segments recorded, uh, we also have a 1080p picture, which you won't be able to buy in the U.S. or anywhere else, actually. Which is cool. I like that. It's true. How many people are sleeping in this class? Yeah, there's people sleeping in the back. <laughs> yeah. And there's, like, people sitting up on the chairs, kind of moving around. It's well, I, I understand that the teacher's not there right now. Like, what kind of period is this? <laughs> this is their break between classes. I'm not yeah. Sure. This is a pretty long break. <laughs> Authentic bell. There I am in the background. I play the teacher. Well, that's not me. No, never mind. That's the history teacher. Yes. I noticed that there was a guy in the back that they record that was like you see him looking at the cameras. How did he walk away? But then when it zoomed out there, he disappeared. What is that girl dusting off the chalkboard? By the way, I don't know. It's the same red hair who <laughs> makes a noise in the back when how did he there changes? Was... There was stuff on the chalkboard, and now there's none, so I guess she's doing a pretty decent job. <laughs> it's Nikoro Chan as our uh, Ryoko. Hi. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> people, listening this, people listening to this commentary are going to hear Ryoko's voice and hear her talk, and it's going to be like, whoa, that's the same person. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I actually um, showed this episode to my roommates because I was really excited about it. And when I first popped up, I told them, I was like, that's me. None of them believed me. And until I pointed it out, they thought we were watching a legitimate, like, dub of an anime. And I was like, no. (laughs) They didn't notice the crappy quality Kunikita talking? (laughs) Apparently not, so... (laughs) That smirk he makes. Yeah, that... Like, his lip is, like, completely over his bottom. (laughs) This is, this is, uh... Nikoru, Sami, and, uh... Another one of our voice actresses, uh... Rar Kitty Panda doing background voices for the girls. That mm-hmm. gif. Yeah. Sinking that chair movement was pretty Who difficult. Who gets do? Oh, I'm sorry. I love this. This this is amazing. Suwaba sinks. Oh, yes. This line is beautiful. Oh, this line. Yeah. 
forever. <laughs> so beautiful. <laughs> We were when we were when we were going through the lines and getting ready to edit this episode together. We just we played it I, literally no less than twenty eight times. It was just forever. We wanted to make a whole song with it, but we didn't have time. <laughs> we were busting our guts laughing with that mm-hmm. line. Yeah, I wouldn't. So, uh, so many things I wish we could actually make videos of and put up for you guys when you guys are watching this. And one of them is we have a lot of fun with all the different takes for the shows. So. Sometimes we'll have people talking to each other. There's one called Soy Sauce the Animation. I won't explain it to you, but... Actually, I still don't know how that was, how that came to be. When we it were just... doing the, the reading for Haruhi, we got to the part where she's talking about Yuki and how her, um, her club would be cancelled if no one else joined. And the line is supposed to be, I believe, um, if nobody else joins, uh, the club is going to be cut. But Stell said the line wrong during the read through. She said, "If anybody else joins, the club will still be cut." <laughs> and one of us is like, "Oh, damn!" And Yuki screwed either way, isn't she? Might as well go buy some soy sauce and just eat a bunch of teriyaki and cry herself to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> so then the joke is that Yuki is a soy sauce addict because apparently, no matter what she does, bad luck will befall her. <laughs> Poor Yuki. I, I I love Suaba's acting here. Like, yeah, he was able to match it perfectly. It's so true. Actually, no, I think I remember editing this. I don't remember. Shut up. <laughs> Hard, he's telling you not to ruin the magic, my friend. <laughs> I think one of my favorite things about Stell is how she goes from being the annoyed, oh. I hate everything Hard, he, to the super happy-go-lucky Hard, he. Yeah, exactly this part. I love this part, but I missed the pencil. <laughs> like, there were so many sound effect pieces in that one thing. Like, it's the, it's the most sound effects used in that small span of animation used in the entire episode but i missed one piece of animation that pencil rolling on the desk and i didn't supervise you enough (laughs) and samina actually had gotten me the pencil sound effect yet i forgot to put it in they didn't i want everyone watching this though they didn't shut up about this this pencil thing was on their mind (laughs) Not only in this no, 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 no. one, but Hold not on. only this, they missed it in the second episode as well, and oh. then they brought it up again. He yeah. was on my mind. It was only on my mind. Episode. She's <laughs> never letting this go. <laughs> no, it's true. That, that's why it she doesn't. It's a huge she, flaw. That, now I, that's why I'm no longer. I, I I'm not touching sound effects at all for Haruhi. Like she gave me the script for the sound effects for this episode. Like she wrote timestamps and everything, and I was putting it together in Vegas. Now, I don't do that anymore. Now I just... she That's Samina's job, where she just sets up the sound effects in the entire episode, then she renders it all, and then sends it to me, and I just put the entire track in, into the episode. Some of the best best moments of editing, I think, with you guys, is when you guys will send me a preview version, and there's no footsteps. <laughs> but, like, you know, hey. every other sound effect is in there. So it's just funny watching them glide around like ghosts. And then you'll send me another <laughs> another episode, like, right in here. The first time I saw this, there was no footsteps in the scene. It was this, but there was nothing that you could still hear. Is, and, you know, and then they focus on this. I, I want everyone to know that they focus on this so religiously that at the end of the episode, there's a footstep missing. They look like, "Are you serious?" <laughs> oh, yeah. What do you I'm mean? Sorry, She's just I need to be perfect so that everyone just knows how much effort goes into this something actually happened with episode three but we'll touch we'll touch that when we start doing the episode three commentary this is nostalgic keepsake doing a yuki in this episode i liked her yuki audition um but there was uh, something wrong with her mic i don't know what was going on but there was a lot of uh background noise we couldn't edit out uh she got replaced by nakoro chan because of uh, an issue with episode two where she didn't send all of her lines in um, but I, I am hoping to bring her back as uh, a character later on down the road because we do like working with her and it was unfortunate we had to replace her. It's true. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Just something I figured I'd touch upon because some people have sent me messages asking about that. <laughs> <laughs> but it all worked out. It did. Yeah. I like how Kion's trying to beg Yuki not to agree to this. <laughs> well, there you have. It. What I did like about nostalgic, n- nostalgic keepsake—that's that, her name, right? Yes. Yes. Um, she actually did have good timings with her lines. 
like I didn't even have to alter them at all to fit them, even though they're short lines. That's still very hard to do for vo- for fan dubbing, or mm-hmm. even like a small yes, people will either get too short or too long. Yeah, again, yeah, no one, no one in this dub, I think, is bad or doesn't miss, doesn't hit their mark. I mean, I was so lucky that we got such a great cast, and again. Uh, the only reason we really, really had to switch it out was because of deadlines. I want this show to actually finish at some point, so we had to reach a deadline, and mm-hmm. sadly, you know, that was just the way it worked out. Yeah. Indeed. <laughs> <laughs> Here was really hard to sync up some lines, because her mouth is so small that I had to, like, enlarge the preview video just so I could be able to see the lip flaps on that. Oh, here it comes. This is a moment of sound effects brilliance here. It's also singing Samane's first appearance as Mikuru Asahina. Oh, dear. Yay. Yeah. She, she did a very was, good performance. It was a wonderful she, performance. You're she so did cute. She great. <laughs> Thank you. I think Religious that door lock <laughs> sound effect took me a while to sync, actually, because when times when, I have help. Whenever someone sends me a message about this show, or whenever I get feedback on this show, the three things that constantly come up as being like the bright spots are Kion, Mikuru, and the door sound effects. <laughs> the door not, sound I'm not, effects? I'm not even kidding. The door really? sound effects. That's Everybody loves the way they creak open and they are begging to find out where you got those sound effects from. I'm not going to reveal the magic. Probably um, somewhere on the internet. Should I reveal the magic? No, 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 no. I would, no. I would reveal the magic. Not because we're douchebags, but just because we want to keep it secret. Because those doors come from another world. Well, <laughs> I, I, yeah, they're made of mahogany. I know how door sound effects can be very difficult. There was this one fan dev that we've seen that we're not going to mention at all, where the door sounded like an accordion. <laughs> oh yeah, oh, that, that door. And awesome. like it just ruined the moment exactly. It just <laughs> ruined the immersion. The acting was pretty good, but like that one door sound effects it was like very quiet and the door makes a noise but it was like, but like <laughs> that was awkward <laughs> it was so. that day that i wish that i had an accordion door in my house that's all that mattered i think if we're ever gonna make like a fando parody and something we're gonna make all the doors accordions <laughs> i just want to say here uh i know samane's parents have seen this episode of this show oh dear <laughs> and um, I've, I've actually gotten feedback from her that her parents are always horrendously confused as to why Mikuru doesn't slap Haruhi um, for doing these things to her. I apologize for how many times your daughter's molested in this show. <laughs> I, we apologize in advance. Yeah, I, I apologize for appreciate profusely. your apology. Yeah, she is amazing, and I thank you so much for letting her do this. And I promise you that later on the show, Mikuru does stand up for herself. But for now... She is at Haruhi's mercy. But again, I just want to take that moment to personally call out and apologize to you both <laughs> for the things you sit through and have to watch. But I know that that uh, in the end, they understand that it just makes things so much better. And it just must sound really strange hearing your daughter up in a bedroom somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my so God. I, I oh, my. One thing I'd like to touch upon the animation for the show is that... um. When I, whenever I watched, when I actually watched the show when I first saw it, I, I never really paid attention to it. But like after watching it, I kind of appreciate what Kyoani does. Where this is, the the girls actually seem like high schoolers. They don't look like your average stereotypical um, anime girl whose age is very random. Yeah. Like they actually look like high school girls, and like. Compared to Kion, it's like proportionate on how it would work to average sizes of, yeah. I don't know. It's just a weird thing I see with the animation. Uh, to address another uh, question, uh, people have been asking. Uh, you'll notice that I haven't replaced any of the Japanese. I haven't gone into the video and replaced the kanji or any of that stuff. That's way, not going to happen uh, at all. That typewriter yeah. there was very annoying to sync up. <laughs> Or like when I sent out the preview, someone was like, "No, you got to make it more condensed and more t- types." And I'm like, "Vegas couldn't support that much. I have to go back in there." <laughs> more than likely, in episode six in the film, for like the computer, we'll probably have the text underneath the words, uh, but I'm not going to replace any of that. Yeah. And again, our first ending theme. Uh, mm-hmm. Stell does the ending as well. Uh, again, yeah. Christina V's lyrics. The idea here was she was going to do all of them. 
but we have a lot of really talented singers in our group. So I was like, we should have everyone do it. And that's worked out well so far, actually. Uh, we're getting ready for production on episode four, but I, I, I want to keep this going. I believe the best was in episode three by yours truly. Oh, yeah, totally. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, yeah, that was what it is. Yeah. <laughs> An um, interesting thing that we just skipped it. Uh, this ending actually has a scene that happens after the movie in it. Uh, yeah. If you pay attention next time you're watching this, there's a scene where uh, they're all sitting there having dinner uh, or having a pot roast. And Iku's Na- Nabe, right? Isn't it? Yeah, uh, she, she's uh, dressed in her Santa outfit and they're putting a reindeer hat on Kion. If you want to find out what that's about, you got to watch the movie. But uh, let's just say yeah. Kion is uh, forced into that little scene there. Yeah. <laughs> Indeed. Well, thanks for watching our commentary this is fun we should do it again thank you everyone yeah so uh final final thoughts on haruhi episode one uh from all of you before we we end this pretty darn Um, good (laughs) yeah for a first like episode release for a like a technically amateur group it came out really really well no yeah editing wise this was like the first major project i've ever worked on to this full extent, normally I just sync songs to a video for my channel or something, but this involving sound effects, voices, and everything, and singing together, it's something I never really did before, but it was a ton of fun doing, and it wasn't as hard as I expected it to be, and I'm really glad I did a good job, uh, me and everybody else did a good job, I can't take all the credit for that, like, sound effects, I couldn't have done it without um, singing Samane, and yep. um, voice directions, from Solid Snarf to um, actually yeah. picking the right voices. But um, this is the kind of quality... We kind of set a bar for the kind of quality we want in our yeah. fan dubs. We totally and did. this pretty much raised it really high. And I think out of all the episodes we've edited, this one is the best one still. Yeah. Um, I think episode one is amazing. I mean, as of right now, there's 1,161 people who have watched this. So thank you so much. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, thank you all so much for all your support. Yes, thank it means you. a lot. Thank you. Like, Thanks. From the couldn't voices, do this without the viewers. From the voices to the editing to the, the music. I mean, we didn't want to change Haruhi because people love Haruhi. We wanted to make our own spin on it. Uh, and whether or not you believe in uh, watching official releases or fan dubs or you know pirating or where you stand on those issues, we're just a bunch of people trying to have fun, working on what we love. And... Mm-hmm. Uh, Haruhi is a test bed for that, so we're hoping that with Haruhi we can get really good at editing, which you obviously see we've progressed every episode. <laughs> uh, we we wanted to make sure the voices were top quality, uh, so we actually have matched the dub in many places uh, and su- surpassed it, I believe. And uh, the oh, the hope and the idea is that every episode gets better and better and better, and hopefully you'll be with us, and someday you might actually be like, oh wow, I can't believe I'm seeing that BT Dubs Alien on an actual DVD release, but I was there when. <laughs> that is that is the hope. So we're, thank you. We're big dreamers. So <laughs> thank you all for uh, joining us for Haruhi commentary on episode one, uh, and we're going to be back again. Uh, if you click another link, probably <laughs> for uh, commentary on episode two. I like how I say we're going to be back again, like we're going somewhere. We but don't know the future. <laughs> yeah, we're, always, we're always here on YouTube, waiting for you. So go ahead and uh, click that next uh, video link there. We like fan oh. mail. Please go ahead yeah. and send some of that. Yeah, please send fan mail, send comments, comment, rate, and subscribe. Send questions. <laughs> we want your questions. Please ask questions. Uh, we didn't we didn't hit on a lot of uh, how we do things here, but we're more than happy to help you out uh, with anything you you have questions. You know, really, if you want to know what we use, uh, how we go about the editing, how we go about the auditioning process, uh, and if you really want to know where that door magic comes from, you can ask. Yeah. <laughs> send, send, send For a small quote. fee of about. Brian, what price would you say? I I would say it is priceless. Yes. Go ahead and send a message, you know. Singing Samane, care of BT Dubs, Inc. How the hell does that door work? (laughs) And we will will get right on that. So thank you so much for joining us. I'm Solid Star 86. I'm Codemaster25. I'm Nikuru-chan18. I'm Singing Samane. And I'm Haruso1. Talk to you next time. Also, support the official release. Oh, shut up. (laughs) (laughs) Bye. Bye. That's where it ends. (laughs) Three.
two, one, go. There's some bitch outside talking about rabies. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. There's some lady outside literally like, oh, you're going to get rabies if you let him bite you. <laughs> <laughs> right, oh me, my God. It's okay. Just keep, re- just keep recording. I'm going to do silence. I just, I, like, literally, as I was about to talk, I was like, hey, you're going to get bit and get rabies again. <laughs> I'm going to mute until I'm called on. And so on and so forth. So get ready to start the episode in three, two, one. Go. So no one's going to talk at the beginning. Okay. <laughs> well, I was going to talk, but I always like that last that part there where she's like, you're going to get naked. On top of that, I also... Uh, we're going to have to do that all over again. Why? <laughs> because uh-huh. I didn't press play when I said press play. <laughs> oh my really? god. I was so... Oh. <laughs> I was so oh. focused. Oh, I was so. Much much. I was so focused on making that good that I completely was like. It was so good. Too. I did it, oh, and then also shit. I heard, "Yeah, we're gonna get naked." I'm like, oh, yeah. I'm supposed to start it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right, 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 right. The intro was perfect. Just re-record three, two, one, go. Okay. Yeah, I know. That's what I was gonna say. Is we might as well just start. I'm so sorry. I was like, <laughs> yeah. That was so funny. Oh. Cuz I literally hear her and she's like, "Oh, yeah, you're going to get naked." I'm like, "Oh." Yeah. Also, wait, hold up, hold up. Guys, can you wear headphones so um 